and Jay from Woody of Uni here. And this clock isn't supposed to look like that. Later you will see why. And I did have some issue with my thicknesser. A while ago uh, I did cut some pieces, we usually say them cookies, from the olive tree. That time I didn't have any idea what to do with them. But for epoxy clock the pieces were perfect in my head. In that time I didn't see that grain with epoxy could be a disaster in a thickness planer. You will see later in the video. So to get a strong bond between epoxy and wood, I did clean the wood uh, with nylon brush. After this I just place the cookies in the silicone mold. I did mix two jars of epoxy resin. Here I did use an epoxy for one inch pores. So for this epoxy I must use 2 to 1 ratio. That means 2 times of epoxy resin and 1 time hardener. This type of epoxy is a bit quicker, but uh, in the manual say that you must wait 24 hours. In this time I did wait a bit longer. As you see, I did use two colors, metallic brown and metallic green. What color would you choose if you would make this type of wall clock? Write down below in the comments, I would be happy to read your ideas. After 30 hours it was solid as a rock. With thickness planer I was removing 3 to 5 mm in one pass, but I think it was too much for the end grain. When I pushed in I know something was wrong. Oops. If I would have video of me after this disaster, you would see just poor chicken running in the wood shop without head. After a while I did find my head and with head I did receive a new design. So I did grab some walnut and start working. So if you like this video so far, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. And if you will do something different, please write down in the comments. But still, everything comes with some expenses. So if you want to support me, down in the description will be links to my personal online shop and it's a shop or leave just a like and comment on this video so here you will see me using CNC as clamp to hold the wood on the table I did use wood screws so everything was very still
Here is some short time lapse of CNC cutting. So for CNC, like you see, you must have the dust collection, really. As you see, I did glue piece one and piece two together with two component epoxy glue. Everything come together very well and uh, alignment was spot on. But again, with CNC this isn't very hard. If you have any questions about CNC, comment down below and uh, I will answer. Because I did use fast drying epoxy glue, everything was dry in about 20 minutes. And now comes the fun part that every woodworker loves, sanding, and a lot of sanding. So here I did start with belt sander. First I start with 80 grit sandpaper, then I move on to the 120 sandpaper and then the last one is 150 on this machine. Next, I move on to the Mirko sander. With Mirko sander, I usually step down to one or two grids. So here I did start with 100 sandpaper, then I go up to the 150 and 240. If the item is made just from wood, I stop here in 240, but like here it's epoxy, I go up to 320, 500, 800 and the last one is 1000. After 1000 sandpaper the scratches won't be visible anymore, but uh, if you want to shine then you must go to the um, wet sanding. So after wet sanding is polishing, so after all that you have a lot of work to do. And it's finished. Sorry for the thumb in the left corner, uh, my wife was recording that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, leave thumbs up or thumbs down, some comments and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support me down below is links to my shop and uh, i'm glad that you watched to the end thank you bye